All right, seeing that the fuselage and the wing are ready to join together just so we can get a really good fit uh, when you use the little attachment screws on the bottom. I want to show you what I'm working with now. And this is, this is just standard practice for those of you that have built before. I'm hoping I can get this thing kind of sort of set up good in my hand here and see how well this works without hitting anything. You can see the gap that goes along this side here. There's a, it's, it's pretty much the same on the other side as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I'm going to go about doing it. It's got to do with uh, just setting up a little bit of uh, masking tape. And sorry about the, the dark light. It's, uh, I don't have the other lights on. Um, it's uh, it's going to have masking tape on the bottom. So what I'm going to use is I'm going to use the same uh, white wall filler um, that I used on the other parts of the plane. So what I'll do is the masking tape will go down and then on top of that I'm going to loosely tape some of the uh, uh, silk span, a couple little strips um, just in line of where it's going to sit. Then I'm going to take the spackling compound because that's what you call it. <laughs> um, and I'm going to run a bead on the the bottom of the fuselage where the fuselage joins the wing and then I'm just going to go ahead put it down on top and then put the screws in. So that way what it's going to do is it's going to it's going to fill the gap and any little bit of overflow don't care I can sand that away and then just put a little bit extra wrapping of uh, silk span around it. So that's what the tape is going to mimic is you know the thickness and probably two layers of uh, um, silk span so that way when it comes time to sand to get the final fitting everything should be good so all right let me kind of get things set up everything taped off and then uh, I'll, I'll let you watch the the hopefully the proper setting of the wing all right it's ready set up here's the tape here's the piece underneath there's the silk span I've got this taped in place just so it can't go anywhere got the holes punched in where they need to be so let's go ahead and flip the fuselage upside down and I can keep everything somewhat in frame Just so you peoples can watch. Let's see what we can do It's got a couple low spots Okay, let's squish it. All right, anyway, this will give you a good idea. Oops. The holes have been filled on both sides. Sorry about that. So let me go ahead. I'm just going to smooth this out uh, by hand on the outside just to make it a little bit truer fit on both sides. But both sides are looking good. And then uh, we'll see what this looks like uh, first thing tomorrow morning. All right, new day. Let's try to unbed that wing. Hopefully nothing will pop apart. I started putting some, uh, sorry about that, I started putting some dope down on it and decided to just stop and let's release it and then, uh, I mean everything should be fine, it shouldn't have adhered to anything that the silk span won't just pop off of. So, let me just get the tape off here on this part of it. And then it should, once I undo the, the bolts on the bottom, it should just lift off. There should not have been any penetration of the dope, or excuse me, of the, uh, the spackling compound. Um, that's good, that's good. All right, let's unbolt this thing. See how well everything worked. All right, 
and as you can see it was lifting it off but from the way everything's looking I have a good little bedded area here that I'm gonna have to come in and do some fill anyway so what I'm gonna do with this because I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it there's some little waiver lines it's fine on the outside but it's not on here so what I'm gonna do is I'll come on in and I don't know how well as long as this comes this side comes off nicely and it does all right what I'll do is I'll come in with some nitrate dope uh, get it in here so that way it kind of hardens it and it bonds it to the wood and then I will uh, sand the inside down get it all ready to go and then I'll just make some little strips um, of silk span just to go ahead and cover it and then wrap it off onto the to the outside face of the uh, the fuselage but you can see the little gap so that little gap has been filled on both sides so it should work out very nicely all right let me get uh, let me get to work on this and I'll bring it back and show you uh, what it looks like finished all right it's all finished up and uh, I've got I've got some silk span on it, a couple coats um, let's go ahead and throw the wing back on and see what it looks like and see if I got to make any more tweaks to it which I'm hoping I don't I'm hoping that this thing is ready for uh, the final prep uh, for paint. I'm hoping. Alright. So you're going to be good or not? I'll even let you guys take a look first. If I can get this thing. Sorry about that. It's my seven foot high ceiling kills me from time to time. Alright, as we can kind of look, I'm sorry about the upside down and backwards, but you can kind of see the seam. Let me see, because, wow, that looks really good. <laughs> that looks really good. Alright, let's see. <laughs> let's see how the other side looks. Well, the other side looks really good, too. Alright, so, yeah, so, alright, so, it has been properly bedded, and it looks nice, too. I may have to come, I don't know if you can see, to the back side right here. I'll find out when I get everything because I haven't sanded. I haven't done any sanding yet of the silk span uh, on the bottom of the, uh, let's just call it the, I don't know, whatever you want to call it, the saddle. So, but no, I'm happy. That looks good. So, now it's time to, uh, let me get this thing out of my hands. Now it's time to try to get this put on. This is the canopy. And I've got to figure out how I want to do it. I'm gonna have to, I'll start cutting the back out first, get it all lined up the way I want it, and then I gotta to try to figure out how to get the front part of this thing so it's gonna fit this contour. That will be uh, exciting. So, all right, I will start. I will do this stuff uh, off camera and just start working on it because I don't know. I don't really know how much it's going to take to get it where I want it. I'll cut off the back square because with that slope that I put in the back side of the canopy, I'm, I need to match that. So what I'll do is I'll come in and I'll cut it down so it's square to the bottom, so it's 90 degrees. Because you can see this, this actually tapers up in this way and it's going to be cut this way. So I'll just come across and I'll cut it just so that I'm not going to possibly poke holes anywhere else uh, in the plane and then figure out how I want to work with this. Because the lower down I can drop this, the less I'll get rid of this vertical here. I'd rather have it be on this slope edge. And I think that's going to work out pretty good. So when I get this thing cut and uh, set up, um, just have a good look at it. Um, I'll show you guys what I'm looking at, and then uh, we'll just start going from there. All right. It's been a long day. I spent probably, I don't know, four hours total time just trying to get that canopy on. There was a, there was a whole lot of battling. And I wish I could have just dragged everyone along with me, but there was just, there was just too much. It was... I'd like to 
go, I'd like to tell you how I did it, but it's one of those things that it's difficult to explain. You, you start, you start, you know what you want it to look like when you're done. And the problem with that is you just don't know how to get from point A to point B. So you don't know how to make it unless you've done this before. And because this model is a kit that was, you know, from 1980-ish. So, you know, she's got some age to her. Um, you can't get replacement parts. So it's, you have to, you can only do it once. And which means if you make a mistake, you, you made a mistake and you got to try to figure out how to live with it. Luckily, luckily, knock on wood, um, it went beautifully. I just, it's sometimes, sometimes I'm actually very happy with, really happy with the way some of these projects come out. So, I will take this off. You can see on the side of the fuse, I've got it already, i already got the screws in. It's sitting down tight on it. So let me go ahead and lift it up and bring it up so you can see it. It, it fits very nice. There is a little bit of a gap up front right here and there's not too much I can do about that. What I will do is if I want to, because I'm gonna paint, I'm gonna paint around the whole outside of it white. This is gonna be white. I could probably leave this if I want to. If not, I've got the stuff they call canopy glue. It kind of goes on white and then dries clear. What I can do is I can put a bead of canopy glue down here and go ahead and just compress it down with something. So when it does dry and it'll dry overnight, you'll never know it. It'll be perfectly matched down. But it was to try to get the thing so that way, even when you just push down with your finger, there's no open gaps anywhere on it. So like I said, it worked out very nicely. And I gave myself about probably a quarter inch of overhang on the tail end of that. And it's all screwed into this piece as well. So it's like I said, Sometimes, uh, sometimes work out, things work out better than, than you almost hoped they would. So anyway, she's on. The plane just needs, uh, I need to go in. I need to uh, put another couple coats of dope on where I bedded the, uh, the wing on. So that area, I've got to do that. I've got to do one more sand down. Uh, it's, I've got to do the sand down at 320. Then one more coat of dope, and then the sand down at 400, and that's ready to cover. Uh, the wing, the same thing. So, because uh, the wing right now has two coats on it, so I'll put one more coat on it, sand it down to 320, and then just like the fuselage, another coat of dope, sand it down with 400, and she's ready to spray. So, and right now I've kind of got this thing hanging up on the wall inside. What I brought to you guys a little bit earlier on um, is that. Uh, I'm going to go with that. That it's it, as much as I keep. I, I want to say I, I'd like to go with the yellow, but uh, I decided that you know we're going red, white, and blue. Um, but don't hold that against me. It might be yellow. We don't know yet. So anyway, I will see you guys next time down in the shop.